There's tons of talk on the internet about how to properly release the golf club. And I've always contended that for the most part, almost every single tour pro on the planet releases the club with what is commonly called a crossover release, which some people refer to as letting the hands roll over versus a quote unquote body release. And I want to talk about that. We're going to pull up a couple different swings to look at today. First one we're going to look at is face on with Jason Day and Rory McIlroy, who undoubtedly are two of the best players on the planet and two of the longest hitters on the planet, which is one of the huge differences between releasing the club with your body versus releasing it with your hands. So as we look at these guys coming down, I want you to pay close attention to a couple simple things that are going to help you discern for yourself which release makes the most sense. So as we near into impact, you're going to notice that both the logos on the glove are pointing more or less at the camera and are getting ready to rotate a tremendous amount in a very, very short period of time. So you can still see the logos on the glove, and then in less than a tenth of a second, they're long gone. The logos on the glove are now pointing directly back at the woods. Pretty simple to figure out, right, in a very, very short period of time. Now, in the same span of frame, so we'll go back about you know, a few feet away from the ball, now I want you to pay attention to how much their chest rotates in that very same period of time. Well, the hands rotated about 180 degrees, the chest rotated about 40. So, which are they releasing, the hands or the chest? Well, obviously it's a no-brainer. The club face is turning over significantly more in the magnitude of 180 degrees than the chest is. Let's call it uh, four times more. That's a ton. The reason is your hands are designed to do this. The club is even designed to do this. It needs to rotate over to release the club for speed. That's where so much of your speed comes from. Now let's take a look at this from another perspective, and we'll look at it down the line because you can see here that it's going to be a lot easier to see the amount of club face rotation that's going on here. So let's take a look at Jason Day here from down the line with the driver. We'll move halfway down again. So now we can start to see about where the little blurry, obviously, the club face is going to be slightly towed in at this point or towed up close to it. But we don't need to see that as much as we need to see where it is just after impact. Because we know it's going to be relatively square to his path here, well, relatively square to the target line. And now what we want to see is what turns over the most from here. Well, club face is already closing significantly, closing significantly, slammed shut. That is about the angle of the club face. Now, a lot of guys who will tell you that you should have the club face matching your spine angle at this point, which would be over here, which would mean your club face should look like that, which is what we would call a check swing in any other sport because you're not letting the club release. If you want to hit it short and out to the right, that's a great thing to do. Any power hitter on the tour doesn't do that. So when you want to release the club with speed, your forearms can rotate over much quicker than your chest can ever turn. Obviously, you're moving every internal organ you have in your body, your rib cage, these huge muscles, all these precious organs. You don't want to put all the stress on your spine. You don't want to keep rotating your chest. Just simply let your forearms turn over. Now, the confusion comes from which is more accurate. Well, I'd argue that Jason Day and Rory McIlroy are relatively accurate. So there's no question that, obviously, the way the tour pros are releasing the club is an accurate way to release the club. The confusion comes from people thinking that you're actively turning your hands over. That's not what's happening as you watch Jason release the club here. The club is being released. When you release something, what does it mean? Well, effectively, it means to let go of it. So he's not trying to flip his hands over. He's throwing the club at the ball and letting it turn over, which is why his arms get so extended here, because he's throwing the club at the ball for maximum speed, because that's what you do when you release it. When you release it, the club naturally wants to turn over because there's so much momentum. Something has to allow the club to keep moving forward, and that's either going to be you turning your body, which they're not doing, or letting these forearm bones simply turn over by the momentum of the club. So if you want to learn how to properly release the club, I've got a great bonus video I want you to check out. Click the link in the description or the link you see on your screen 
And I want you to check out this release video because it will show you exactly how to release the club exactly like a Tour Pro.